Okay, so just another moment and we'll get started. Okay, so today we're getting started with the purifying segment for oily and acne skins. Um, this is one of our most popular treatments. Uh, this is a treatment that we get amazing response from. We have clients coming back saying that they are just amazed by the results, amazed by their clients' uh, testimonials and how happy their clients are with the results from this facial. So this is definitely a webinar we've been looking forward to doing. Um, we're going to start with a quick review about uh, Diego de la Palma Professional and the brand, a little bit of a review on some of the key ingredients and key features. Then we're going to go into the specifics of um, the purifying line. We're going to talk about the professional segment. We're going to talk about the home care. And then we're going to talk about some other additional items that are great for retailing for clients who are interested in this particular line. So just to review Diego della Palma Professional, this is a brand from Italy in the cosmetic world uh, since the 1960s. Um, they are a global brand with presence all around the world internationally. Uh, they're a company operating at 360 degrees of the beauty market, which means they have um, professional retail and uh, pharmaceutical branding. Uh, this is just some of the countries that they're known in. Um, and you can see uh, Deo La Palma Professional is what we use. Um, the formula of success is that Deo La Palma is always based on dermal cosmetic science and their research laboratory. The research laboratory is right on the premises of the business. So they are always working on innovative breakthroughs, the latest formulas, um, and they're, they're offering what will be common tomorrow, today to your clients. So they're always the first to offer the latest innovations. And I believe that's very important for our, uh, for our professional industry to be on the cutting edge of what's new and what is the best and the latest in skincare. Um, obviously, because we need to be uh, the professionals, we need to be in charge of our skincare business and we need to propose new ideas and new ingredients all the time. Um, one of the things I hear sometimes from clients is, oh, are they changing the formula again? Well, it's been five years and in five years, a long time in the medical research uh, business. And so, yes, five years is about time that we change the formula. And if you're dealing with a skincare line who doesn't do that, then you should be concerned about it. And you should be looking for a line who does propose new material, new ingredients, new technologies, and that will keep you on the leading edge of what is the latest and the newest and the best for your clients ever so important today where cosmetic um, uh, the cosmetic business has many many competitors from the professional industry from the retail industry from the online industry from the medical uh, everybody wants to sell cosmetics uh, movie stars want to sell cosmetics uh, doctors want to sell cosmetics Everybody wants to sell cosmetics, but at the end of the day, who's going to succeed is someone who has the knowledge and the tools at hand to be able to resolve their customers' problems. Because at the end of the day, estheticians, you and I are the only ones who face that client face-to-face -face and also face their reaction, whether they liked it or they had results or they didn't have results. So it's always important to feel that I'm working with a line or know that I'm working with a line, that I'm guaranteeing you the results. And again, that's why it's important with DDP to know what makes them unique. One of the things that makes them unique is that it's, a, uh, it's termed a dermal cosmetic. Many people don't understand what does a dermal cosmetic really mean. Some people have said, well, it means it has cosmeceuticals in it. Well, that's only one small portion of what a dermal cosmetic line really should be. A dermal cosmetic line, first of all, means that it's a cosmetic, but it has a lot of dermatology and health associated with that. We are in the beauty business but we also should be or can be in the health business. Dermal cosmetics contain key ingredients like cosmeceuticals that will change the skin from the inside out. 
But not only that, that's not enough. It also, to qualify as a dermal cosmetic, it must provide an in-depth action. So being able to provide that um, in-depth action is what's going to allow for maximum penetration and absorption of the products. A true dermal cosmetic must contain active ingredients that have been rigorously tested before they're even applied and created to be what they are at the end. So in other words, the active ingredients need to be tested and then the final product needs to be tested. A dermal cosmetic has to meet very high manufacturing standards such as the pharmaceutical industry, and thereby they need to demonstrate proven effectiveness and safety. And this is the key point that is missing in many skincare lines out there. It's very easy to make a product and say, oh yes, I've added a, a, a cosmeceutical in there. Not all the products are cosmeceuticals, but the other product, pro the other most important thing is to know that this product at the end has met all the high manufacturing standards similar to pharmaceutical standards and therefore I'm safe to use this product who I know will penetrate further into the skin than regular cosmetics. How do we know that they're uh, proven to be in the pharmaceutical standards? Because the manufacturer needs to be ISO certified. ISO means International Standards Organization. This is a requirement needed for medical products, and it should be the same if you're going to call your dermal cosmetic line a dermal cosmetic. It needs to be manufactured by an ISO certified um, manufacturer, which DDP is. Which also makes sense because if you're thinking about a product that is going to work on a cellular level, it's very important that that product has been <clears throat> tested and verified in a lab with laboratory testing to prove to you that it is safe and effective. Um, you can't be putting things on the skin if it hasn't been um, certified, tested. So all of our products with Diego de la Palma come with laboratory testing results. And it's very important that you understand these results because they are not just a perception test. It's not just um, that customers reported liking the product. These are laboratory results with technological, um, verifiable scientific results. So that gives you even more to stand behind. And as you can see on this slide, there is a um, <clears throat> logo at the bottom on the right-hand corner, GMP Cosmetics. So again, this is a kind of logo or stamp of approval that uh, Diego La Palma has in order to meet that satisfaction of the ISO standards. Um, the other thing we want to talk about in terms of the, the company itself is the value, their value. What is their value? Their value is they love research. They love to come up with new ideas, new formulas, new technologies, anticipating what will be uh, the general rule in the next future. So again, you're associating yourself with a, a top brand, an international brand that really wants to be ahead of the game. And in doing so is supporting the professional industry. We're not sold through retail stores. We're only sold through professional advice. And we're also not easily found online. Uh, we're very careful with our customers to make sure that they're professionals. That they do have to have a professional office to be able to have an online uh, account with us. And this is, again, very important because you don't want your customers being able to get it on Amazon. <laughs> um, top quality ISO certified manufacturing also ensures um, that the product has all the necessary effectiveness and stability in the formula. So there's stability tests, uh, dermatology testing, efficiency testing, and of course, we all never include parabens, paraffins, mineral oils, ethylene glycol, phthalates, triclosans, or any other ingredient that causes irritation or reduce the purity to the skin. Basically, everything that is in our products is there because it is beneficial to the skin. There's no filler. There's nothing harmful. Everything there is going to be good for your skin. Um, the formulas are also created with optimal vehiculation, which means better penetration, better absorption. This is thanks to the use of enhancers and carriers. Uh, this is called the stimulation of bioabsorption. Uh, absorption. So uh, there's a number of uh, instruments or 
ingredients that are used in order to make this happen. Biomembranes technology with ceramides allows the products to penetrate in the epidermis. Biomimetic creams, which means they mimic the same way that the skin is made up uh, with liquid crystal formulations. Liposomal structures, nanospheres, and glycosaminoglycan, glycobiology. All of these um, means are how we arrive at the maximum penetration for better results in less time and greater customer satisfaction in the end. Um, we mentioned this before, we have very many tests that are done on our products, independent testing labs at universities, uh, in cell and in vivo uh, testing, different skin types. We also do self perceived auto evaluation tests, and we also have graded uh, dermatologists um, grading the, uh, the cosmetics. So these are some of the instrumental tests. We test for hydration of the skin, transepidermal water loss, sebum measurements, skin brightness, skin smoothness, anti-wrinkle action, dermic density, which means how you know, plump is your skin, and even microcirculation is tested with an echo doppler. Efficiency testing is done on, uh, through dermatology department on uh, on in vivo means on people, on skin, um, to guarantee maximum safety and efficiency. We never test on animals and uh, have not done so for many, many years. In fact, it's not legal to test on animals in the European nations. Uh, because of this, all our products can be comfortably used after laser treatment, cosmetic surgery. So even though we don't necessarily go out there and say, well, this is a medical line, you know, it can only be used by doctors. Certainly it could be. Um, that is not necessarily our only market. Our market is the esthetician and whether she works independently or for a doctor, that's her choice. Uh, whether we're dealing with a beauty spa or a medical spa, that's the marketing choice of that client. But in the end, we are offering a medical grade line and proof of it is a how uh, the line is treated, how it's created, and how it's marketed, and how it's developed. And all of this, since we are talking about uh, purifying treatment, which has to do with acne, acne is one of those treatments that does skirt the line between beauty and um, a health product. So often you may have clients who've been seeking medical treatments from a dermatologist. Uh, maybe they've had laser treatments. Maybe you're offering laser treatments. Maybe they've been using medicated creams. All of this uh, makes it even more important that, that you feel confident that when you are using the purifying products from Diego de la Palma, they are safe and they, they are not going to cause any negative reactions when combined with any medical treatments. The cosmetics also respect the environment, and this is important uh, today more than ever. People are very aware of our environment and keeping it safe and keeping ourselves safe. So because of that, DDP has the, uh, is a member of the Responsible Care Program. This is a program that is for chemists to uh, choose to belong and it's following the industry's best practices for the most sustainable environmental and social impact including solar energy production water recycling processes environmental packaging using forest stewardship council certified paper for their packaging never add test on animals active ingredients derived from nature using organic sources for plant-based ingredients so we don't call it an organic line because it's not based on just vegetables and, and plants. But if we find plants or uh, when we do use uh, plant or, or vegetable um, materials, then it's based on um, organic. Uh, it's derived from organic sources. And the last one is also uh, keeping uh, fair trade cooperatives, um, supporting those small communities that have uh, this, uh, this type of uh, product growing uh, perhaps in their um, countries. So ingredients from fair trade cooperatives is very important. Helping the social uh, impact. Yeah, so responsible care means environmental uh, responsibility, but also social responsibility as well. So it's something that all around you can feel really good about. Uh, we offer lots of marketing support with our customers. Um, of course, 
videos, technical material, even this webinar, you know, uh, sheets and information, images for your website, uh, information for your website, uh, retail brochures, prescription cards, samples, uniforms, gift bags, and there's more to come. Now, we also do Knowledge Academy, which is important, but uh, right now we're doing those through webinars. At this point, I'd like to move forward to our skincare objective, which is from DDP, always to have cellular detoxification, maintain skin's health for vitality and cellular longevity for as long as possible, regulating skin metabolism and balancing cell communication. All this has to do with the importance of a healthy skin, regardless of the age, regardless of the treatment that you're doing. Either way, we want to get to a balanced, healthy skin before we do further treatments um, to target whatever the specific treatment is that we're working on. So everything is gain is uh, working towards that. So improving cellular communication in order for the uh, skin to respond better to the treatments is key. Um, this is done with the 51 plus 3 Hyalu complex. And this 51 plus 3 Hyalu complex, think of it as a skin fitness with a daily nutritional supplement for your skin. It's everything your skin needs to stay healthy. Um, it's found in every important product that you're going to use on your clients. And um, it's there with um, a very specific action for every segment that we deal with. So uh, in the case of the 51 plus 3 Hilu complex in the oily skin uh, for purifying uh, or for people with acne, there's still the 20 amino acids, there's still the 16 vitamins, there's still the trace elements and minerals, nucleic acids, ceramides, osmoprotectors, and hyaluronic acids. But there's a difference. Of the 20 amino acids, there are more of those proteins that support sebum production. For the 16 vitamins, there's more of those vitamins that support sebum regulation and balancing. Uh, of the trace elements and minerals, those remain the same. The nucleic acids remain the same. The foraceramides remain the same. Cellular osmoprotectors remain the same. And hyaluronic acids remain the same. So what changes are the amino acids and the vitamins. So just to review this quickly, the, um, if we go back to the Hyalu complex, this is sort of our magic ingredient found in every segment. Um, but if you think of it like a smoothie, we are mixing with this one product, with this one cosmeceutical ingredient, we are mixing everything in that your skin needs to be balanced and healthy so that we get our, our skin to a healthy state and then we can work on it and we can work on whatever our specific treatments are. But depending on what the segment is, that balance, that mix of ingredients that you find in your smoothie is going to be a little bit different. Um, so as she mentioned, with, with the purifying, there's a different balance there. This is just going into each of the products, um, each of those ingredients and how they work. These are the results. As you can see, they're amazing um, after only 24 hours. So now we get to the methods. We have different methods to treat different skins. Today we're going to focus on the purifying oily skin line. And here's all the different segments that we have. We have quite a few. Now, one of the things I want to discuss before we move into uh, the actual purifying segment is about toxins and how the skin, uh, how they are the skin's main enemy. So these are harmful substances that are not only external from pollution, corrosive substances, heavy metals, free radicals, but they're also produced within the cells, especially during the production of cellular energy. So in other words, in our daily metabolism, skin metabolism, we have substances that are created that are important for uh, the skin, but we also have waste with that. And when the skin is unable to eliminate these substances naturally, the junk from the toxin suffocates the cells, it alternates the cell's activity and reduces their vitality. So intoxicated cells with a reduced metabolism and vitality can no longer communicate properly with each other and work properly. This also prevents other active ingredients found in the cosmetic forms to work properly. So detoxification is really key and the first step for a healthy, glowing skin. I think a lot of people understand the concept of a detox in terms of uh, health and wellness in general. There are a lot of people who do a health detox 
And it's the same kind of principle that um, over time, there's a buildup of this junk in your body. And so with a detox, you're helping your body to eliminate that junk and become more fresh um, and then able to work properly. And it's the same thing on a cellular level. So that junk gets built up, that junk gets in the way of your cell working properly. And so we need to use products which will help our cells detoxify themselves, eliminate that waste so that there's more um, space to move and their cells can work properly again. So that's where we come to cell detoxium. Uh, this is the active ingredient extract from the purified Candida cytoana. This is a fungus um, which targets the skin's natural detoxification mechanisms. So we're going to work on um, our own natural process. Our skin naturally uh, removes this waste. Cell detoxium is basically a little messenger that tells your cells, hey, it's time to clean up, time to get rid of this junk, time to remove this garbage from your cells. Um, so using cell communication, it tells these autophagosomes, this is the, the part of the cell that removes the waste, tells the autophagosomes to start working and to do their job and eliminate the toxins. Um, and by doing that, we're working on our own natural process of detoxification. We're just helping to speed it along. And I think this is the key point that cells are cleansing uh, segments, our cleansers, our toners, our scrub, our masks, our massage cream, um, all the products that are essential to our business of you know, doing a facial, but also the basic products I would say for home care um, for your clients. And this is where it starts. You need to start with cell detoxification. Um, and so we find that a product, the cell detoxium in the cleansing milk, we find it in the toner, and we find it uh, also in the cleanser for oily skin, which we will come to uh, very shortly. So cleansing milk um, is still part of the professional range. Uh, this can be used in your professional treatment if you like, especially if you have a client who comes in and she has a lot of makeup on. You might want to use this instead of the cleansing gel that is for purifying. Uh, revitalizing toner is something that you would need anyways in a professional treatment. Uh, blackhead squeezing balm, this is an, um, an item that uh, we can rave review about because it just so easily facilitates the removal of blackhead extractions with less chance of irritation. It has a special uh, formula with neem oil, which is a natural antibacterial, and it also increases the wall protection of the skin. So when you're extracting and you're pushing, you're not going to get that breakage of capillaries that can result in a little, almost like a micro wound or bruise if you're, if you're uh, extracting too much. And it also softens the skin. It has healing action and, and therefore a small amount is all you need to uh, use during extractions. The way you apply it is you apply it on the skin, you steam for a few minutes and then you leave it on during the extractions and then you extract and then you follow that with warm water and appropriate toner. If you don't do steaming and I do caution you to when we get back to working after this pandemic, I do caution you to perhaps put your steamer aside because uh, steaming the skin is going to blow a lot of air. And this is another thing that they're recommending not to do uh, during this pandemic or even after the pandemic is over and we're back to work. Um, it, I think it's something that we're going to need to really reanalyze or wait on before we start using it again. So how can this help? Well, if you go out extractions and you're not steaming, you can put this on, put hot towels on and it will work amazingly. This is one of those amazing ingredients that, um, amazing products that saves you time. Because by using this product, you don't have to steam and you don't have to leave a hot towel for very long. So it'll make your work faster. Uh, so even though you're buying an extra product, it's something that will save you time. And as we all know, time is money in a treatment. So this is a really key product. Okay, uh, we do also have the biphasic makeup remover that again has cell detoxium in it. Um, and this is used for clients who perhaps are using makeup that is more difficult to remove. And a lot of that exists on the market today. Long wearing makeup, uh, you know, 24 hour makeup, uh, that's the kind of makeup uh, that is going to give you a hard time uh, getting removed from the skin when you're trying to do a professional treatment. And also at home, clients are asking for, you know, how do I remove this safely, effectively, without 
causing my skin harm. This is an amazing product. It's a two-phase. That's why you can see the color blue on the top and the clear on the bottom. You have to shake it each time. It's not greasy, but it does remove all residues and of both uh, oil and water and dirt. And it doesn't uh, burn the eyes. It can be used even without rinsing. Um, and it is also moisturizing. So it doesn't leave your skin stripped and dry. And we wanted to include that in this presentation especially because often when you have clients, especially clients who are um, have acne, they use a lot of makeup and they mm -hmm. tend to use that thick camouflage makeup, which is very, very difficult to remove. And because they're not able to properly remove their makeup, it just continues to make the problem worse and worse because then they're pores get clogged, it makes the acne build up worse. Um, and also a lot of the times people suffering from acne are teenagers and teenagers tend to use cheaper drugstore makeup most of the time. Um, and those are the products that are especially um, really uh, clogging of pores and really bad for the skin. So this is a really good product to keep in your arsenal when you are treating purifying, um, the purifying segment and especially acne skins. So again, this is for professional and retail. It's a 400 ml bottle. Um, one of the questions I have been asked before is if they use this, do they still remove, do they do another cleanse with the cleansing gel? Um, <clears throat> this is up to, uh, to the client. They can certainly do that. Um, it's up to them. I, I would suggest that perhaps they do this uh, to remove the makeup at night, but then in the morning when they wake up, they use the cleansing gel. Um, instead so using this to remove their makeup whether they want to use the gel or not that's up to them they don't have to but definitely they would need to use the gel in the morning then when they wake up before moving forward and applying new makeup um, when you're doing your facial you're also going to need to choose an exfoliant and so we're back to uh, the three choices of exfoliants that we currently have we have the enzymatic which is good for inflamed acne, rosacea, people who have a lot of extractions to be done, but also, um, sorry, I'm just, um, people who have a lot of dehydration. So when you have a client who has extreme acne, quite often they will do extreme things to themselves to get them to a stage where they, know, they think they're not gonna have the acne anymore. And so they go out and they buy these very aggressive drying products um, that leave them very vulnerable and very dehydrated and very sensitive. So when they come to you, when you see someone like that, when they're almost like, ouchy to touch, like they're so congested, they're so red, they're so inflamed uh, that you feel like you don't, you don't even want to touch them, then I would say enzymatic exfoliant is the way to go. The other go-to peel that I suggest most of the time is the mandelic acid peel. And that's because it's more of a delicate, creamy texture. It does have a little bit more umph to it as opposed to the enzymatic. And it also does contrast signs of age, blemishes, discolorations that can come from melanin, but also from post-acne scars, acne scars, imperfections, large pores, and so on. So the mandelic acid is stronger than the enzymatic and will be used most of the time, ideal for oily or acne skin, or even, of course, normal skin. But <clears throat> the enzymatic, I still would Consider it for those customers who are so sensitive that you feel like you just can't do this, all right? Combined acid peel, we don't usually use on an acne. It could be on a more mature skin though, especially if that mature skin has only acne breakouts in certain areas, then you could even do a combination of peels. You could do enzyme with combined acid in certain areas. Nothing stops you from doing a combination of peel even on the face, okay? Separating areas. So now we come to the purifying combination oily skin segment and it's called purifying because it doesn't just deal with acne. It's also good for combination skin. People who have a very oily tea but normal on the side or very oily all over or oily only in uh, the chin. Um, mature clients who are still experiencing the occasional breakout but it's constant, it's always there and it's a bother to them and that's why they come to see you. So again, this line is very flexible when it comes to dealing with blemishes. 
So what types of skins can we treat? We can treat acne skins, oily skin, combination of skins that are, for example, oily in one area, dry in another, uh, perhaps normal in another. Uh, teenagers, young adults, mature oily skins. This tends to be skin, uh, women who are in their late 20s, 30s, and even into their 40s experiencing some blemishes and some breakouts on a regular basis. So as you can see, it's very flexible as to who would be this recommended to. Of course, if you look at the demographics of who buys an oily skin product, it is going to be the majority, uh, the younger clients. And often I find moms come in and ask for their daughters or their sons because they're really concerned. They see the changes in puberty that happens um, or even when they go to university and they're very stressed or they go to school or they're in their new jobs. And so many of these things um, lead them to acne, hormonal changes. Um, and so often we find that, you know, the moms, come to see you and then they're asking for their young, young daughters what to do. Definitely something that can easily be sold to them to use at home to take care of amazing results. Much better than anything you could find in the drugstore. Much better than many of the uh, solutions offered by doctors because those tend to be very harsh, very aggressive, and they don't always work. So now we go to what causes a blemish? What causes this acne? Well, the one main reason is hormonal changes. And so naturally, we all, men and women, go through puberty. And that is when sebum tends to overreact because during puberty is when we have estrogen, progesterone, and androgens, male hormones, all you know, working overtime, trying to get us into our next phase of our life, and that is when uh, the disasters can happen. Um, so puberty is a, a major change. Menopause, some women find they get acne during menopause. And of course, pregnancy, before or after. Stress is another cause, a big cause, and that's because if you really look internally at what is happening to the skin when you're experiencing extreme stress, you are producing more androgens, which are those male hormones responsible for acne. So again, under stress, we get breakouts. Pollution is another major factor. If you live in a city where there's lots of pollution, your skin is not able to process the junk, get rid of it, and keep itself healthy. And so pollution and free radicals um, will attack that system we were discussing earlier. The cellular detoxification of the skin is compromised and now you have acne. Um, another thing that causes acne could be aggressive treatments or use of cosmetics with what we call occlusive properties. In other words, it causes the skin to not exactly blocks pores. That's a simple way to say it. Um, also, certain drugs, contraceptives. Many, many women experience acne during contraceptives or when they come off of the end of contraceptives. Um, smoking. Smoking can cause that slowdown or junk removal, slow, that internal pollution, external pollution that affects acne as well. And, and then, of course, in 50% of the cases, it's genetic factors. So in other words, if your mom and dad had acne, 50% chance you're going to have acne. What are some of the active ingredients being proposed by DDP to deal with the acne problem or the blemish that occurs as a result. First thing we need to know is how does that happen in the first place? So what is the sequence that happens inside the skin? So the first step is that we have an irregular sebum secretion. In other words, there's too much sebum being produced. Why? Either you inherited it or all those other factors we just discussed. But anyways, no matter what the reason, there is an exceptionally large amount of sebum being produced. 
So how do we stop that? The ingredient, the key ingredient for that is vacuchol. And we will talk about that a little bit more in the next few minutes. The next thing that happens when you have too much sebum is that you have bacteria growing because the sebum festers and it causes an inflammation. And with inflammation, you get pus, and with pus, there's bacteria. So in fact, there's an acne type of bacteria called P. acne bacteria, P like the letter Peter. And that P. acne bacteria is what's found inside the pore of that sebaceous gland. And how do we deal with that? We deal with that with the bacuchol. We also deal with that with salicylic acid, probiotics, and lactobacillus. Then we need to also concern ourselves with what happens with the sebum when it finally makes its way to the surface of the skin. It becomes oxidized from the sebum oxidizing almost like a surface fat. Have you ever left oil out? Or if you've not screwed the bottle top properly on your oil, you find residue of oil around the rim. That is oxidized fat. That is fat that has hardened, oxidized, and that's exactly what happens inside your skin. So when you go to remove your makeup and your cleansing routine, it may not lift up this oxidized, hardened fat. And if it stays in there long enough, it becomes black. And now it's a blackhead. So Bacuchol will help that process to reduce the oxidation of the surface fat. We also need some soothing and anti-redness action because in all of this process, there's inflammation. And with inflammation, there's redness and there's an ouchie, right? We also need, oops, I don't know what happened there. Number five, a reduction in the perfections of dull and gray complexion, a skin thickening. In other words, the skin with all of this going on becomes dull, gray, there's some thickening, there's some dead cells that build up around this sebum that has been trapped inside the pore. So now we no longer have the sebum coming out evenly and smoothly. Um, and instead, what we have is a thickening of the epidermis, a lot of dead skin building up, blackheads building up. So how do we deal with that? We deal with that with salicylic acid. And then the last thing is, how do we maintain a healthy microbiome in the skin? We need to rebalance the skin's echoflora with probiotics and lactobacillus. So maintaining the skin's microbiome is another important step. So as you can see, with this system, um, with this slide, I'm trying to show you how a sebum uh, how a blemish occurs. And that is what happens all over the areas where you're oily. And so these are all the steps and actions you need to take. And you can also see here that um, with this, this treatment, our aim is to work on the whole cycle of that process. So a lot of the time, the traditional way of treating acne and of treating oily skin was you look at the skin, you see that there's oil on top, it's too oily, it's too greasy, so let's dry out the top. Well, what happens when you do that is your skin says, my skin is dry, I need to create more oil. And your skin ends up producing even more oil. And so it becomes this vicious cycle where you're just, you're drying it out, then you're creating more oil, you get more acne, you get more redness, more oil gets produced to combat that, and it's very difficult to resolve. With the Agua de la Palma, we are going back and treating it from the root. So we know it starts with oil being produced. We need to remove the oil that's being produced. Then we know that the next step is this inflammation. We need to remove the inflammation. We need, need to safely remove the oil. Um, and it, after all of that, we need to rebalance because once your skin is balanced, it is not going to be sending the message to create more oil. Um, so this just gives you an idea of how we're not just treating the, the end result, we're treating the root cause to give you a real result and a real resolution to this acne problem. So now we come to, <coughs> excuse me, the active ingredients. Bakuchol is an amazing ingredient, specifically uh, used 
<clears throat> for reducing and normalizing sebaceous secretions. But not only that, it is also an antibacterial, specifically acting on those P-acnes we discussed. So inhibiting the production of blackheads and pimples. It also stops the oxidation of that sebum present on the surface of the skin. It also has a strong anti-inflammatory action, so it soothes the irritation. It also reduces dark spots, inflammatory spots present on acne prone skin. So this is an amazing product because it has so many actions uh, that are so necessary uh, for all those steps that we need to take in order to control that acne. The other key ingredient is probiotics. This is to stimulate uh, the uh, defense mechanism of the skin, its own natural defenses, and it's going to basically maintain that healthy microbiome so your skin doesn't go through that phase of extra extreme dryness, cracking, um, and actually, quite frankly, some acne customers have told me, you know what, my doctor gave me something, it made my skin so dry, I looked horrible, I couldn't even put makeup on, and I still broke out. So basically, they're not satisfied because yes, the sebum was not there, but the blemishes were still there and the flaking was still there and the irritation and the inflammation was still there, which is all part of acne and it makes us not look, the skin doesn't look good no matter what. So probiotics used um, by DDP are even more effective and resistant because they use um, uh, ones that are from a natural source um, and they're from malt and fruit that are also nourishing and protective. And they also stimulate the growth of positive bacteria, good bacteria that is necessary to keep that skin's microbiome. Yeah, that word microbiome is something we discussed in our um, resurface webinar, if you were listening to that. Um, it's very, very important. This is a key, uh, a key idea in, in cosmetics today, in dermal cosmetics in particular respecting the skin's microbiome. Um, we know now that there is um, a very complex environment of good bacteria on the skin. And a lot of the times, if you over cleanse or if you over treat, you remove that good bacteria, which is actually keeping your skin uh, healthy, it's keeping it young, it's keeping it protected, um, and it keeps that barrier function, which is, which is key for, your, for healthy skin. So, the probiotic lactobacillus that we're using respects that microbiome and it keeps your skin balanced so that you're not going to be over drying, getting that cracking and getting those problems. So once again, um, this is an ingredient that is cutting edge, um, not found in other skincare lines. This is a really unique, wonderful ingredient that has really good results. Now, in the purifying range, we have the choice of uh, two finishing creams or one is for mature oily skin and one is for young and acne prone skin. Why the differentiation? Well, because a mature oily skin, someone in their 30s, 40s, their skin is going to be shiny, they're going to have dilated pores and blemishes, um, but also they're going to want to moisturize because they're going to start to see signs of dehydration and they want that anti-aging action because they start to see that their skin is no longer plump and it's no longer it's starting to show little lines around the eyes so again for mature oily skin we have a specific cream for them to use and for the young and acne prone skin we have a different one uh, the mature skin cream is also key for any of those clients you have in their late 20s who are starting to be concerned with preventing anti-aging. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of young uh, clients today are very aware, they're very active because of the internet and social media. They're very aware of different skincare products. And so even if they do have oily skin, it's not enough that they want to treat just oily skin. They want to be able to do anti-aging prevention at a young age. So with this product, you're able to give them something that is anti-aging and it's not going to cause breakouts because a lot of the time, if they're on that sort of borderline, maybe recovering from oily skin, recovering from acne, um, anti-aging products are going to cause that breakout again. So this is a really great ingredient, to, or a really great product to keep those clients coming back to you. Very good. So what is in the mature skin uh, cream that is uh, key? Uh, first of all, the 51 plus three. So again, making sure that the skin is healthy. 
Bacuchol, we talked about that. Probiotics, we talked about that. Sulfur-based amino acids. There are sulfur-based amino acids added to the, to the uh, cream, but also there are more of these sulfur-based amino acids inside of the 51 plus 3 as part of those 20 amino acids. So why sulfur-based amino acids? Because they, regu they regulate sebum production. Um, we also have a no-ages peptide. This protects the collagen of the skin. So this no-ages peptide is an anti-wrinkle, an anti-aging ingredient specifically for mature skin. For the young and acne prone skin, again, we have the 51 plus three. We also have the Bacuchel, which also have the probiotics, the exfoliate. In this case, we have exfoliating acids, um, which are similar to um, the enzymatic, uh, uh, their enzymatic base, but we also have salicylic acid. And salicylic acid is an exfoliant and an antibacterial. So on a younger skin, they're going to probably have more acne and they're going to need that salicylic acid. Yeah, it's going to help more with those uh, more active, frequent breakouts. Correct. So let's take a look at the professional products. We have intensive clearing concentrate, a pore perfecting serum, a sebum rebalancing cream, and a purifying clay mask. These are all the professional products. Let's take a look at them one by one. The intensive clearing concentrate is a 30 ml bottle with a dropper. Its action is to inhibit bacteria, ideally purify the skin, eliminating comedones, presence of impregnants and localized impurities. This is really important to put on immediately after your extractions. Um, so again, really important uh, step in the professional treatment. These are all the active ingredients that are in it. We've talked about this before. As you can see, there's a little bit of hyaluronic acid in there as well to keep the skin plump and hydrated. Uh, pore perfecting serum. This is again designed to uh, reduce the appearance of dilated pores uh, caused by excessive sebum, clogged pores, presence of dead cells, etc. It reduces small spots and other imperfections. It has a micro exfoliating action. It has uh, gets the skin finer, pure, more bright, and smoother. Recommended for both mature and young. Again, this is the next step to your facial. And again, this also has a sebum absorbing and soft focus agents that immediately improve the complexion of the skin, making the skin's imperfections less evident. Think of it almost like an oily skin primer for the skin. So it makes your skin uh, better to put makeup on too. So this is used prior to the finishing cream. Uh, so the client can also put makeup on and it's makeup ready. Another thing that's nice about this is when your clients are um, using, once they start using the purifying line, the pore perfecting serum will give them a smoother, finer appearance without wearing makeup. So that's kind of nice because clients who have acne, they get tired of every single day covering up a whole routine, covering up their blemishes. And then when they don't wear makeup, they feel bad about the way their skin looks because they see these big pores, they see the blemishes. So it's kind of nice because the pore perfecting serum, if it's a weekend and they're not going out, they're using this to um, put on their face to treat their skin, but it's also gonna make it look better, um, which is like a nice thing for them to see and to feel that, that they don't need to wear makeup every single day. If they're not going out anywhere in particular, they'll still look a little bit better. If you take a look at the active ingredients, you'll understand the action even better. It has the 51 plus three, Bacuchol, very important, but also exfoliating lactic acid, glycolic, and salicylic. So it, this is basically an AHA-based product with Bacuchol and 51 plus 3. And then your final cream um, has a combination of the similar ingredients, 51 plus 3, Bacuchol, probiotic, salicylic acid, and this is your final cream at the end. Um, it does have an SPF 15 um, and can be used at the end of the facial. 
purifying clay mask. This is a mask that we recommend to use with professional treatment. It has cell detoxium, so again, really stimulating that process to rid the skin of toxins. Puri enzyme, which is based on papaya that has an exfoliating and nourishing action. Ventilated green clay that absorbs excess sebum, purifying and regenerating. And some shea butter to keep your skin soft and hydrated. So this is a wonderful healing, soothing clay mask, ideal to use in the professional range. We can also use an astringent soothing mask if you find the skin is a little bit more dehydrated than you would like to see, if the skin needs a lot of soothing and repairing. So I can think of times when Again, those really, really sensitive skins, really red, really inflamed. Perhaps you would like to try and use a astringent soothing mask instead. Uh, this has got a more of a gel texture and it's more soothing and healing and repairing. And so uh, this is the other mask you might choose to use. By the way, nothing stops you from doing both. You can do a stringent soothing mask, perhaps on the cheek area where it's most likely to be sensitive, perhaps on the neck, and then use the clay mask everywhere else. Where there's more oil, clay mask. Where there's less oil and more irritation, enter the stringent soothing mask. Okay. Take a look at the professional treatment, the steps. First, we remove the makeup with our ba ba My Face X Eye Lip Makeup Remover. Then we can choose to use the Michelar Cleansing Milk, which has the cell detoxium in it, or the Cleansing Foam. Or we could also use, and it wasn't created uh, to be a professional product, but you know, we don't have to stick with the cleansing milk or the cleansing foam. If you want the client to experience what this cleanser is going to feel like at home, you can use this on them as well. It does come in 150 ml size. You only need about five mils for, for professional use. So you still have lots and lots of uh, treatments out of one tube and definitely something you'd want to consider using. Um, after the cleansing, uh, there's an option to do an opening massage with all our facials. This would be like a welcome massage around the neck and shoulders to just relax the client. Um, and then we move on to the uh, peeling stage, which would be either the mandelic acid or in uh, some cases we might choose a different uh, peel, but mandelic acid is the most popular. Then we uh, use hot towels or steam and we do some extractions with our blackhead squeezing ball. Uh, then we do our extractions and then we use our revitalizing toner. And then we do a lymphatic massage. The lymphatic massage does not need a cream. Uh, it is available to watch on our uh, website under a uh, purifying segment. Yeah, in the training section of our website, you'll be able to find videos of all our treatments. So you can see a full video of the purifying, uh, start to finish the purifying facial, and you'll be able to see the lymphatic massage from there. Okay, uh, then we have, um, after the massage, you're going to apply the clearing concentrate and the purifying clay mask or the astringent soothing mask or both. Then you remove that after 10 minutes and you apply the pore perfecting serum and the sebum normalizing cream, the professional size SPF 15. And that's your professional treatment, roughly an hour. So we have two options for professional facials. One is called the easy facial. Um, this follows all the rules that we just uh, went through, all the products that we just went through. Or you can do one more intensive if you're going to do a lot of extractions. Um, so you're going to just take more time for that extraction process. Um, and so it brings your treatment time to 68 minutes. But again, this is something that is entirely up to you. Um, we find that most people um, you know, do both or they do the intensive all the time within the hour and that's okay. Right. Home care. So the first step is cleansing. It really is important to get them on a proper cleansing routine. The cleansing gel, this is the one. Um, by the way, if you'll notice, the reason I brought this up today is because it has the new logo and the new packaging with this um, green 
on the bottle uh, or on the tube. Um, so acne cleansing gel, how do they use it? You squeeze it out onto clean hands. Before we start anything, we wash our hands. Then we take uh, approximately the size of a nickel uh, worth of product. And on the same wet hands, we uh, move the product onto the skin. We rub it in with some water on our hands and we exfoliate uh, the product, we, sorry, we massage the product in all over and then we remove it. I prefer recommending to use a face cloth or cotton or gauze, something to remove the cleanser, not just splashing water on your face, all right? So that is how you cleanse the skin. Then you apply the Pore Perfecting Serum, recommended day and night for very oily skins or just day or night, depending on how severe the acne is. On mature skin, they're going to use a 24-hour mattifying anti-age cream for um, skins that are women, you know, 28, 29, 30, and so on, also concerned with aging. Or if they're younger, the young acne-prone skin, sebum normalizing cream, um, that can also be an option. Some people will ask me, can they buy both? Can they use one in the night and one in the day? And that is also an option. You can do that too. Um, definitely worth um, exploring for, with a client, depending on their age. Most young people tend to not want to do a day, a day two creams, day and a night, but it's entirely up to you and to your customer. The deep cleansing gel action, like we said before, it has a cell detox in it, and it also has salicylic acid. So really important for you to know that because it's soap-free, alcohol-free, and paraben-free. It does remove makeup. Uh, again, we can't stress enough, though, that because this is not only, it's not just a makeup remover, so if somebody has a lot of makeup on, a lot of eye makeup, we still recommend using the um, bicellular makeup remover. The Pore Perfecting Serum has um, all the ingredients for home care is exactly the same as for professional use. So you, we don't need to get into that again, but uh, just to, to remember that it does have a micro exfoliating action. So it's going to remove the dead cell buildup that we know we're going to get because we're getting too much sebum. And remember that was one of the steps we wanted to make sure we did with our skincare routine is to remove the buildup of dead cells, which then causes the buckets, which then turn into pustules, etc., etc. So really important to use a pore perfecting serum. So when someone asks you, if I have to take only one product home today, what would I take home? Think about that. We're going to talk about it in a second. Sebum normalizing cream, ideal for young acne prone skins. This is the same cream we talked about earlier. Um, it's ideal for young acne and it has more of an, a no shine max texture, but it's also moisturizing. Uh, the 24 hour mattifying anti-age cream is for those more mature uh, or adult skins that require a little bit more of that uh, action. And how do they differ? Oh, not too far. Sorry. Um, how do they differ? What's different about this one is it contains the no ages peptide. So the mattifying anti-aging cream is um, to fight wrinkles, spots. So those um, red spots and also discoloration that you get from healing acne spots or healing scars. Um, it also helps with dilated pores and discoloration in general. So this is more particular for those clients who are mature or adult, not the young teens with a lot of active acne. This is more for those people who are dealing with oily skin, combination skin, some breakouts, and they want something that is also going to treat the anti-aging effect. And uh, as a side note, uh, dilated pores become only worse with age. So uh, a lot of people who study skin care uh, tend to confuse dilated pores with sebum production. Mm -hmm. Dilation of pores can be from sebum, but it can also be from general aging where the skin loses tone, elasticity, uh, density, 
water. And so it's sort of the skin starts to fold onto itself. And so um, this is another reason why it's important to use this type of product on a mature skin. Additional home care. So what else can you recommend to the client besides those uh, four products we just talked about? The cleansing gel, the core perfecting serum, and then one of those two creams. Well, we can recommend to them the cleansing clay masks because if they're breaking out, if they're dealing with acne, I can tell you that they're going to deal with it for a very long time. And so once a week, they can have something at home to keep them, them, their skin in balance. Um, in, you know, in between treatments that we recommend to have still done in professionally. Uh, the professional facial, when a client first comes to you, it is recommended that you suggest to them to come four times in a row, once a week. But after that, they need support at home. So this would be what they would use at home uh, in between those professional sessions or at the end of their four week session. Another item that I think would be valuable for you to consider recommending is the resurface regenerating exfoliating toner with 5% AHA. Now this can be used daily and it's part of the resurface line. That's why it's not a, a green but yellow um, packaging instead. However, it's really, really important to recommend this to those clients who have excess buildup of dead cells, really dull looking skin, skin that tends to have a problem with a lot of buildup of blackheads and impurities in their skin, this would be ideal, right? Then we have three other serums that we could recommend be beside the pore perfecting serum. Keep in mind that the pore perfecting serum has more of a, a primer feel to it. It's almost like a very, um, liquidy cream, okay? So it's more like an emulsion. Whereas these serums that we're recommending now are the true serum vial type of product that are more gel-like, so they disappear. Uh, the Skin Code Mattifying Serum for oily combination skin is a really good one uh, for daily use instead of the pore perfecting serum or to use at night under when they're going to bed instead of the night cream or just under their night cream. Another one that is a good one to recommend is the skin rebalancing serum with azelaic acid. This is an intensive shock treatment, uh, especially when experiencing a breakout. Ideal for a new acne client to start off their treatment, recommended morning and night for two or three weeks for an intensive action. And then we follow that with the retinol. So again, this would be used under their cream. Skin regenerating serum with retinol. This is another intensive shock treatment every night for two to three weeks following the rebalancing serum with azelaic acid. So this retinol is going to help to continue that exfoliating action in combination with the azelaic acid or it can also be used in combination with the pore perfecting serum. So again, if you need more exfoliation, more intensive action, the serum uh, of ret with retinol is going to give you that. Or they can just use it a few times a week just to keep up that momentum. We know an oily skin, an acne skin is not going to go away within uh, you know, a, a month of you doing four treatments. It's going to reduce it greatly. You can keep it under control immensely, but is it going to completely go away? No. Why? Because the underlying issue of stress, pollution, uh, you know, inheriting an, an overactive skin is always going to be there. Of all the treatments that dermatologists see, acne is the one that they see the most and it's the one that they tell you it's the most difficult to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about results, what can you expect from your clients to get from this line? 
at the end, acne um, is always a problem to be managed. It's not a problem that is resolved. There are some cases where they'll, maybe if you're a young teen, eventually you'll grow out of it. Um, if you're pregnant and then you, you know, you balance your hormones, you'll get out of it. There are situations where it will go away, but for the most mm -hmm. part, it's a, a condition that you will have for Inherited. a long period of time, a couple of years, period of your lifetime. Uh, it's not something that you can just use a cream and then it's gonna go away, that's it, no more. Um, it's something you have to continually manage. So that's why it's nice that we have these multiple options so you can kind of take them through different stages. When you first have someone coming in, they have a lot of active acne, a lot of active breakouts, um, spots, pus, injuries, uh, red injured skin, you would use the acne products. Um, that's also where the azelaic acid would work because the azelaic acid serum is more for rebalancing those active breakouts. After you get to a point where the acne is managed, you're still gonna have a lot of texture issues. You'll have scarring, you'll have uh, dilated pores, you'll have um, those red spots you get after a, a pimple has healed. So you're gonna wanna treat that. Um, the retinol is great to treat that afterwards to, to heal the skin and take it into the next phase. So um, when you're looking at an acne skin, there's really a, a, there's multiple phases to be managed. And then there, once you get those active breakouts under control, there's always the daily maintenance to make sure that the skin doesn't get back to the situation it was in before. And uh, when you're dealing with mature clients, uh, again, they're going to be concerned with aging and wrinkles, and so retinol is the perfect solution for those clients. So we wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of the makeup options, because with acne skin, more than any other um, skin type, you deal with people who um, are trying to conceal and trying to cover it up. Um, and a lot of the time, their efforts to cover it up are actually leading the problem to be much worse. Um, they're spending a lot of money and a lot of time concealing with products that are occlusive, like we mentioned. They're blocking pores, they're uh, sometimes contributing to the oil, and they're making the problem worse for themselves instead of better. So we always say that the last thing you want is to have a client coming to you. Um, you spend an hour for one month doing treatments. You go through a long treatment phase. You sell her the home care to use at home. And in the end, she says, didn't work. I still have acne. And it's because they've been using a $10 concealer from the drugstore that's making the problem worse. You know that your acne clients are going to be covering up. So it's important that you offer them a solution that's going to be good for their skin and is going to help the problem rather than make the problem worse. So that's where our skincare line, um, our makeup line comes in. RVB Lab is the makeup line created by Diana La Palma. Um, it is a professional treatment makeup line. So it is all made to go hand in hand with your beauty treatments so that they, um, all the products make your skin look better and treat your skin. So um, these are just a few products that we wanted to highlight that would be particularly suited for anyone with acne. Um, first off would be the Long Lasting Camouflage Foundation. This is an oil-free foundation with very high, high coverage. So because of its special formula, um, it has rich pigments, latest generation pigments, uh, which allow you to conceal very easily. Um, you can go from a more sheer, uh, not sheer, lighter coverage to building up on a spot um, to get absolute um, camouflage of a, of a blemish or a spot without, um, without too much heaviness, no caking. It feels very light, it's soft, and it's comfortable all day. And it's also waterproof, so if they're out and they're, um, it's raining or sweating, it's not gonna come off. So your client can use this during the day or in the morning and it'll last well into the night uh, to cover. So this is a great product. It removes easily um, and it's gonna be good for the skin. It's non-comedogenic, non-occlusive. Uh, the other thing is the Cover Stick Concealer. This is um, this, about the size of a lipstick, a little lipstick tube, and it's a uh, high concealer, high pigment, high coverage. This one is great um, if you have a really bad blemish, you wanna use the concealer first and then the camouflage foundation, or it's great for your, for your clients to take in their purse, um, to take out if they're out with them and a blemish appears or another spot, 
uh, sometimes people touch their face and they end up removing the, the concealer over, over blemishes. So this lets them conceal it again. And then the final thing is the transparent loose powder. Uh, this is a micronized powder with a natural finish. Um, it's light and gives you, um, it's not gonna give you coverage, but it's going to mattify. So they can take that if they start to build up a shine during the day when you have someone who's very, very oily. That transparent loose powder with a um, big brush is a great product to use to remove that daily shine. And it's all mineral makeup, just so mm. you know. The micronized powders, uh, all the pigments in all our uh, makeup has mineral makeup. Um, so for example, <clears throat> someone who doesn't want to wear foundation, uh, they just want to put a quick... Uh, you know, quick fix powder, the transparent loose powder is a great to do mm -hmm. as a finishing um, to a cream, okay? Yeah, especially if you have those oily skins that are not, they're not dealing with breakouts, they just have, they build up a shine during the day and they want something to conceal that shine, that's where the transparent loose powder is great. Uh, there's one more product that's not on this list, and that is the wet and dry powder. So basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a pressed powder that can also be used wet and dry. Exactly the same uh, type of um, ingredients and actions as the transparent loose powder. The only difference is that it's more compact, so it's going to give you a little bit more coverage. And it comes in a compact form, so it has a little sponge inside, and you can just touch up, especially if during the day you become a little bit more shiny, or perhaps you just want something quick to work again. Get up in the morning, you don't have time to put makeup on, you just want to do a quick, you know, around and look a little bit more even and less uh, spotted uh, looking. So it's a great product. I like it. I use it a lot in the summer actually when I don't want to wear foundation. Um, another thing I want to mention about the makeup before we move on is that sometimes people tell us um, we have estheticians or uh, beauticians who are not comfortable with makeup. They're not makeup artists and they feel nervous about recommending makeup because they think, well, I, she's here for skincare. I don't want to recommend makeup. I don't want to overstep. Um, Makeup, especially when you're dealing with an acne, oily skin, they're going to use the makeup anyway. They're looking for something. When you don't recommend makeup, you're leaving out a really important regimen of the, the skincare routine. You're leaving out a really key step. So um, we, I guess we just want to say don't feel shy about recommending makeup. Don't feel nervous to get into it. It's not something, sometimes we view it as a completely different world, but makeup and skincare, especially, especially with acne, really go hand in hand. Um, and so you should think of these as products that are going to complement your service and complement the hard work that you've been doing to get their skin looking their best. Uh, how you would approach that would be at the beginning, uh, when you do your client consultation, when you do your client form and filling in all the details about why they're there, what are their concerns, uh, what do they use at home, and then you go through, you know, you're explaining to them what you're doing professionally, and then you should be explaining to them what you recommend to them to take home, and then at that point to ask, do you wear makeup? Do you, what kind of makeup do you use? Do you know that I can get you some makeup that would be ideal for you that I know will not cause any further breakouts uh, because it has you know, a zero um, comedogenic action, has a high coverage, uh, very comfortable to wear all day long. This is something that I'd like you to consider uh, purchasing as well. First and foremost, though, uh, we want to talk about what are the first steps to a healthy skin for an acne client. And again, we go back to which product would be number one. I would say number one is the cleansing gel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Without the cleansing gel, you're really not giving your client the right service. The next step to that would be your pore perfecting serum. And then after that, the cream. After that, you can choose serums based on where they're at, their age, their concerns, how severe is their acne, where is their acne, is it only here, is it all over, what type of acne is it, is it like mostly comedones, or is it really full-blown cystic acne, the worst that you can get, 
<laughs> so, you know, understanding the severity of the acne too, because I am always surprised when I'm dealing with the school and looking at students and their facials that they're working with, how sometimes they'll have a client and they'll say, a young girl, for example, and she'll say, oh, I'm on an acne medication. And I look at their skin and they have maybe, maybe a little breakout here or there. And I'm always surprised at how they're using these really harsh chemicals and these really harsh products, even given by the doctors, um, you know, harsh retinol and they're peeling everywhere and their breakouts are only like one or two. So there's a lot of people out there giving the wrong products or too aggressive a treatment with very little results. We know that the purifying segment, when it's done right, it has amazing results. And we have even testimonials from clients telling us that it's the best thing that they could have ever bought for their kids, best thing that they've ever found to keep their skin under control. Um, yeah, we've had clients say to us, I gave up on thinking that I was ever gonna have good skin. I thought my skin was just gonna, I was just gonna have bad skin, that's it. There's nothing I can do, no matter what I do, my skin's gonna be bad, I can get it to be okay, but it's never gonna be good. Come back after a few a few weeks, uh, a month of using this line, and they say, I can't, I've never thought my skin would look this good. I'm amazed, I never thought I was gonna have skin that looked this great, and I can actually go out without makeup, without tons of concealer, and feel good about my skin. And at the end of the day, if you can get a client to that point, you have a client for life. And they will bring you more clients. The other thing too I want to mention is that so many of them will say, you know, what can I expect from this treatment? And you need to be realistic. You need to tell them you need to do what I'm telling you to do. So if you're buying a cleansing gel, you have to use it every day. Um, if, you're, if I give you a pore perfecting serum, you must use it daily. Um, because so often they don't do what they're supposed to do. Um, but yes, it definitely. And you know, in the end too, if you can keep their skin at bay, in other words, keep the inflammation down, keep the excessive breakouts down, or when the breakout does occur, can you help, does the product help them to speed along and get rid of it quickly and get their skin back to normal again? That is what you're looking for, all right? That is the results that you're trying to tell the customer they're going to get. Uh, the visible and measurable results on cellular activity measured at the university uh, clinics uh, for uh, the results from this product, reduction in excess sebum down by 40%. Amazing, amazing results. Increase in protection from contaminants, pollution, etc., 38%. And reduction in microbial proliferation, in other words, antibacterial action, 97% less. So in other words, really effective to get rid of any bad bacteria. All right. Okay, so that's the end of our presentation. Um, we are going to get to your questions now. Um, so the first one, one of my clients is on Accutane capsules for acne issues. Can she get this facial done? Um, Accutane is one of those really tricky medications that is you know, really harsh on skin. Um, yeah, your skin is extremely sensitive on Accutane. I mean, first of all, uh, she probably was already told by the doctor, if you're on Accutane, you can't do so many things. I would get the clearance from the doctor first. And I'll tell you, this is also uh, not so much because I think anything really bad is going to happen, but I'm going to tell you something. If it does happen that she gets a reaction or whatever, um, her skin is already highly compromised. Uh, you don't want to be facing a situation where... Uh, the client could sue you, you know, like you, you just have to follow, um, just once she gets off the Accutane, once she's, you know, back on, um, once she's allowed to have facials, once the doctor clears, then yes, go ahead. Um, are these products good for body acne, such as back acne? Uh, can we use in the back treatment, the exfoliants? Uh, yes. So these products you can use absolutely for a, a back facial. Um, very, very and good. a back treatment. The exfoliants are great. I do want to go back to the uh, Accutane client though. Uh, the professional treatments are not recommended, but you can certainly sell them the products to use at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, can I do this facial after laser hair removal or laser skin rejuvenation? Yes. If yes, how many days after light-based treatment? A um, couple of days. To, I mean, as, as, as long as the skin is back to normal, like it feels normal, it doesn't feel like it has a sunburn. Uh, some, uh, I know that some light-based treatments can be a little bit more aggressive than others. Um, so as long as the client feels like, yeah, my skin feels good, it doesn't feel ir ouchy, it doesn't feel irritated, doesn't look irritated, then you go, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I've typically done one like uh, a light on a Monday or Tuesday and a facial on a Friday. So two, three days in between. Mm -hmm. But I can also tell you that if depending on the skin, you can either, even do the light immediately after the facial. Yeah. The, as long as the light is kept low. Uh, the good news about light, IPL light on acne, is that it works really well even at the lowest setting. So you don't need to go crazy and put it all the way up because bacteria is really easy to kill and the skin responds really well on even a low, low level. So yes, you can do this facial and with an IPL treatment as long as you do it very, very low. Okay, uh, we have a few more questions. Um, okay, the title of the webinar is Probiotic Purifying Facial, which of the products has probiotics? Mm -hmm. So um, that is the um, lactobacillus that is a probiotic. So all of the products that have um, the probiotic um, or the lactobacillus, that is the probiotic ingredient. And as far as per gram, that's not information we're provided with. It's just part of the formula. The entire formula includes the probiotics. Um, then the next question, does every DDP product contain 51 plus three Hyalu complex? Mm. Um, most of the products do. So not every single product, but um, every treatment, every professional treatment will have a product that uses the 51 plus three Hyalu complex. That's why we say it's the base of the line. Um, and most of the products do have it. Uh, the, some of the serums do not, and some of the cleansers, cleansers don't, for toner. example, don't. But most of the products do. Um, is the makeup remover safe for clients with lash extensions? Um, mm. No, it, you should really just be using a water-based, water um, the Michelin cleansing water that we carry from the soothing line is a great makeup remover for clients with lash extensions. Um, you can use the cleanser if you're using away from the eye area. So if you wanna use that makeup remover for everywhere but the eye contour, mm -hmm. Really, if you're using lash extensions, you shouldn't be using a ton of um, uh, oil-based makeup around the eye anyway, so it should be fine. Um, but just, you don't want to put anything oil-based on the eye. And um, is mandelic acid stronger or less strong than the herbal peel in the Resurface 2 line? Uh, they're completely different in how they act. Mandelic acid does not give you the same... Uh, mandelic acid is a great exfoliant. Uh, really good for uh, spots and uh, large pores and oily skin and sensitive skin. The resurface herbal peel is quite stimulating. So if you have sensitivity, this is not the peel for them or be prepared to have a lot of burning and irritation when the peel is on because the herbs and the seaweed that is in there is highly stimulating on the microcirculation. So that herbal peel is really good for someone who is just starting the series or a pre, uh, someone who has more dull skin and different problems other than acne. I would say that would be a great one if you had someone who did have acne and now they're not dealing with open breakouts, that kind of thing anymore. Yeah. Um, and they want to they wanna deal with the texture problems, the things that result from having had acne. But it, it is going to be a little bit... Um, yeah, the resurface is definitely stronger to answer your question, yes. In fact, it has 15% AHAs and, um, and, the, peel, and the herbal herbs and the seaweed, so it's quite strong. Um, the next question, can the client use this line if they're allergic to sulfate? Mm, anything with uh, sulfur 
base, I would say she should do like a little patch test, like maybe mm -hmm. just put a little bit on her uh, arm and just inside of her, uh, like just let it sit there for the, maybe a band-aid or something just to see if it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, is the transparent loose powder drying? No, no. not at all. No, it's not. Um, what is the mineral ingredient in it? So um, the powders, all the colors, all the pigments are from mineral. So they're mineral pigments. That's what is in it. There's, a, it's not a, you know, what color is it? It depends on each mineral has its own color, mm -hmm. uh, but they're all mineral pigments. But with this one, the uh, transparent loose powder, it is uh, sheer. One there's, shade. there's, there's no color. Um, it looks like it's colored because it's not white because they don't want to give it that. Um, sometimes a powder can have that like white effect, when, especially when you're doing photos. If you take a photo, it'll it'll flash. It's meant to um, be. It's just meant to be transparent. Transparent. So it can be used for any skin tone. Um, I'm 40 and break out nose and chin. It's from stress and hormones. So that would be um, you would be a perfect client for the uh, purifying mature products that we were talking about the 24 hour 24 age, hour. Uh, mattifying cream and the and the pore perfecting serum and the cleansing gel and perhaps also for the chin area only to consider using the azelaic acid um, for mm -hmm. a period of time uh, what would you suggest for home care for a 13 year old with oily combination skin oily in the t-zone and chin who also has sensitive skin so again, our products work fine with sensitive skin. The cleansing gel is important for this little girl. And uh, the oily, uh, excuse me, the pore perfecting serum to be applied only on the areas where she's breaking out. And then the uh, cream all over every day. Yeah, if they, um, a, a, lot of, a lot of people uh, say that they're sensitive to uh, oily skin or purifying products, and it's because they're very drying. Typically, they're very they're very reactive. They dry out your skin and they make you sensitive. But you're not going to have that problem with the purifying line. Um, these products, if you use the if you use them, especially in the T zone area where you're experiencing the breakouts, you're not going to have uh, sensitivity issues. Um, so, is uh, someone else is asking? Is your showroom open for pickup? Uh, we are not, not yet. open at this time. <laughs> not yeah. yet. We're getting ready. Um, yes, you know, we have to organize our uh, employees to come back and organize ourselves with masks and shields, all these things. Uh, in fact, we're organizing ourselves so that we can sell them to you as well, hoping to open soon. Yeah. Um, and that brings us to another announcement we might as well make now. We have some really exciting new products that we've just gotten word from from um, Diego de la Palma, specific for um, reopening. So we're looking at bringing those in. We have some really beautiful masks that they're bringing in that are branded Diego de la Palma masks. So you can use those and your, your staff can use those um, to protect yourselves and also to keep up the branding. Um, and we have a really exciting new product that uh, is gonna be a hand and face cream that is sanitizing and also protective and treatment. So um, it's gonna be wonderful. We're really excited about these products. We just got the information yesterday, so we're gonna be working out um, pricing and confirming delivery, and then we'll be sending out an announcement to all of you about that. Um, we are also still working on finalizing some details so that we can do a seminar on some um, suggestions for how to operate business once we're allowed to reopen. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about that. We know that everybody's concerned about what, what's it going to look like when we're able to reopen, when the government gives us the green light to go ahead. Um, and we have a lot of um, products that we've been sourcing, some PPE, and we mm -hmm. have some great ideas to keep you guys safe and to keep your businesses uh, busy and running. And uh, trust me, it's been uh, really challenging to find the product, number one, and then number two, to keep the costs down so that we can offer you reasonable pricing. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, all these items have become much more expensive than they were before the pandemic. Um, and so we're hoping to find you uh, the cheapest solution, but also the best solution um, for getting back to work safely. Mm -hmm. One last thing we should mention is that um, uh, with the um, 
reopening, we know that people are going to be focusing a lot on getting products, uh, doing facials that are quick so you can get in and out, but also give you really good results. And when you're working with Deo de la Palma, you're already in good hands. All of our products work really well, really quickly. You can do express facials um, and still get amazing results. So um, that's something we're going to talk about a little bit more in our uh, upcoming seminar. We're just waiting to confirm a few key details. Um, and then we'll um, and then we'll get on to that. Uh, someone is asking about is there a starter kit? Um, I'm not sure if you're asking for a professional or a retail kit, but we do have um, someone available to speak to you if you are new to DDP and you want to start with DDP. We would have put together a starter kit just for you. So please uh, reach out to us by email and we'll contact you right away. Okay. And also, we do have regular promotions that we put together, um, you know, for different skin segments and different products on sale and so on. So you're able to even do your own kit, for example. All right. Um, oh, and you. one more thing from Marvis. Do you recommend to do extractions when we reopen? Um, like yes. Extractions and facials? Yes. Yeah. We think you can, that shouldn't be a problem, especially when we have the blackhead squeezing balm, which is such a quick treatment. Um, you don't even need to steam. You can, um, it, it makes extractions. You're faster. going to have a feel, you're going to probably likely be wearing a mask and then you're going to, be, going to probably be wearing a shield and then you're going to have your magnifier there. So, you know, there's going to be enough protection there, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, we have another question. Is there a backlog on online orders? Yes. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're, we're, we are delayed because of social distancing. We can't have our full staff uh, in the warehouse. So we are delayed uh, with our orders. There's a bit of a backlog. Um, thank everyone for your patience. Uh, we're really trying hard to get it resolved. Um, but unfortunately, with social distancing regulations being the way it is, we just can't have many people um, working on the orders like we normally do. So we are a little delayed. Uh, there are also delays from the couriers, which are unfortunately out of our hands. Everybody's ordering everything online these days to be shipped. So it's, just, uh, it's really busy for mm -hmm. all the couriers. And in fact, what we've experienced is that clients are getting a reply back from the courier saying, oh, your package is being delivered. It'll be there on such and such a date or you know two days from now and then it doesn't come so then they call and they say can you track help us track it what happened expecting it to have come the reality is that the couriers are behind mm -hmm. and we don't know that they're behind they don't tell us we just hand them the package and off they go so yes we are behind the couriers are behind you may give yourself plenty of time i would say on average right now we're about Right now, we're about two weeks behind. Now, I did uh, tell all of my staff that skin care uh, clients have a priority. So if you place an order with us and there's some skin care in there, you are prioritized mm -hmm. versus someone who comes in to just buy polish and I don't know what else. What we sell lots of things, but, you know, we're trying to prioritize our skin care. Yeah. Um... So I think unless we have any more questions, um, yeah, I think we've handled, we've well, thank you questions. very much everybody and uh, have yourself a great week and we'll see you next week. Uh, we decided yet what we're going to do next week. <laughs> we haven't decided yet. We, we might be doing a possibly uh, the detox segment and segment uh, what would be like our level one training um, we also have to still um, do white light we so. still have to do white light and we're still trying to figure out when we can finalize our information for a covid reopening seminar so we'll send out an email soon um look out for that with a schedule every wednesday at one and then we might be doing an additional one next week so we'll send that out soon um thank you everyone for participating as usual you'll be able to find a recording of this on our website um under the training section and the slides are up there as well and the slides are there as well Thank you very much. Thank bye you. Bye.